Yo, what's going on, you dick looking duck fucks? My name is Potato, and I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. I'll start off with the good news first, and I'll talk about that for a couple seconds. Um, I've got a Moab. Uh, you can see I'm using the model, but I don't get it with the model, because this gun's a piece of shit. Um, actually, I take that, yeah, it's a piece of shit. Um, right, like, when I made this video, or when I got this, uh, this was two days ago, and I actually ended up getting two Moabs in one day, so I was kind of happy about that. And I haven't gotten a Moab in forever. I quit playing the game from like March to early May, or late May actually, because it got pretty boring. Um, so I'm staying at first level 80 now, since I reset my stats for 15th level 80. The game got really boring, but now I'm kind of getting into the back into the groove. <laughs> um, you know, originally when I started doing commentaries, I was posting daily Moabs, but um, I just quit playing, so I quit getting Moabs. But uh, these are the first two Moabs I've gotten in a couple months, so I was pretty excited about that. And the Model 1887, I've gotten that gun gold. Uh, if you watched my last video, you saw um, that, the PM9, the Barrett 50 Cal. I've gotten every assault rifle and SMG, either gold or level 30. And, uh, oh, that's a good thing. But the game's kind of boring now, but now i got to work on, like, the LMGs and some of the snipers and shotguns. Uh, the Spaz 12 looks amazing gold. I've gotten that twice before. Um, I don't know, how are you guys doing with Double Weapon XP? Hopefully they do that again, because I prefer that over, um, I prefer that over wep or just regular XP, and I think next time they do, like, a Double XP weekend or some shit like they did this time, uh, they should allow you to choose what you want, because I, personally, I think the Double Weapon XP is a lot better, but if you're going uh, and trying to get to 20th Prestige, I guess you want the regular XP. But it's whatever. Um, but I've got... Well, that was the good news, uh, so I guess I'll get into the bad news. Um, you know, I'm kind of shocked by this, and I'm kind of upset. But hopefully Treyarch can take this. Um, here, I'll just go ahead and view it. Uh, there's going to be no weapon DLC for Modern Warfare 3. At least that's confirmed by um, Mark Rubin, Infinity Wars executive producer. And here's some of the reasons. Uh, so basically... Um, each map has a limited limited amount of memory for guns, and there's no space left to add more guns. The game is, like, the RAM on the game, it's really low, and they can't add in all these new guns because it'll make the game super slow and laggy. Basically, uh, what that means is, uh, like, say they were to add in, like, two or three guns or, like, a gun DLC, and it came, like, ten guns, like, in Battlefield 3. Well, basically, Battlefield 3, they already have those weapons built into the game. So all they got to do is just add them in, and uh, since Modern Warfare 3, um, they didn't even prepare for that. Uh, they didn't expect people to want a gun DLC, even though we've been talking about it since Call of Duty 4, or Modern Warfare 2 maybe. Um, they don't listen, so hopefully Treyarch can take that into consideration, and hopefully Treyarch will make space to add in weapon DLC, you know, bring back shit from Black Ops 1, World at War, um, anything, just because that's what the people want. And uh, I talked about this before. I don't want to see uh, new prestigious return into Black Ops 2. I want maps and I want gun DLC. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree with me on that. So hopefully that can be more organized. And Treyarch's always been more organized than Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward's been a piece of shit um, lately. Well, ever since Call of Duty 4. That was probably their only good game. The only game that they'll ever make good because they didn't really have any intention of making it good. They just did it. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so, uh, the game has no space left, uh, let's see what else, and it takes too much time to integrate guns into every map, basically they would have to, um, you, if they did this, uh, they would have to put, like, the 74U, the TAR-21, the AUGBAR, or the FAMAS, anything like that, they would have to single-handedly put that gun into every single map on Modern Warfare 3, released and unreleased, and speaking of that, on June 19th, we'll be getting our, or Xbox Elite members, we'll be getting one multiplayer, one special op, and one classified drop, so we don't know what that is, the classified at least, and uh, June 18th, they're going to reveal the trailer, so uh, it's kind of a late notice, but, you know, other than that, uh, that's pretty much all I have, gun DLC is not going to be an MW3, let me know what you think of that below, and if you want to see the other Moab that I got two days ago, let me know, it was a P91, and uh, that's pretty much all I have. If you enjoyed, be sure to smack that like button, or I might just have to kick your ass. And subscribe if you already haven't.
And I apologize if I sound all congested. I think I'm coming down with another cold. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.